with that man sales in trouble? What's up, guys? Sorry it's been a while. I've been super busy. So every now and then I like to search the word inkwell on YouTube just to see what pops up out of sheer boredom. There might be a rare change of heart video here and there if you're lucky, but most of the time it's just your usual cookie cutter normie videos talking about rabbit hole this, rabbit hole that. Inkwells are a danger to society. Black pill is toxic. Misogyny racist. They need help. We gotta help them. Just your usual fabricated psyop scare videos. But this video in particular was pretty interesting to me. Watching this actually reminded me of how brutal the black pill really is. So let's go over this video, shall we? If we look at his channel, it looks like he's a weird anime profile picture dude on the autism spectrum that tried to be transgender but detransitioned. He definitely gives off the vibe of a retail worker that frequents Reddit. Who could forget classics such as Gender is Subjective, My Experience with Caffeine Withdrawal, and Lonely. Based on my observations, we can expect a pompous, ill-informed video with pathetic conjectures and anecdotes. So the other day I got married, and now, legally speaking, in every sense of the word, I am married. For now, I'll say congratulations to myself for having what you probably don't have if you're watching this YouTube channel. I want to talk about incels again because uh, you need me to. You, with your very puny brain, need to listen to someone superior to you like myself, a literal wife haver, to tell you what's true and what's not. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The best way to know if someone doesn't know what they're talking about is if they can't differentiate inkwells from black pillars. Let's break that down real quick. An inkwell is someone who can't get sexual desire despite trying. It's not a mindset. It's a circumstance. If this confuses you, ask yourself this. Can you reasonably say there is a woman you know that wants to screw you? Not willing to? Wants to screw you. If not, it's not over because it never began. The black pill is an ideology concerned with absolute truth, and basically says that there are no solutions to the problems our world faces. It will simply fix itself over time. It's a common misconception that the black pill is all about females and complete nihilism. That isn't really the case. The nihilism part comes from those who simply gave up trying to ascend in life because of factors out of their control. This guy wouldn't get it though. The level of pretentiousness he has to think he's above inkwells because he's married is laughable. He has another video with his then fiance trying to invite his audience to their wedding because they need more than two people to be legally married. Like, do those guys not have any friends or family? Plus, his wife literally looks like a witch he met on the 2X chromosome subreddit. Neither of them look like they even showered, too. Jeez, man. The expectations in society have changed. When my grandparents were alive, they basically just had sex with the people that they married. Like, your body count does not matter at all it doesn't what matters is if you were in a long-term committed happy relationship at first i thought he was thinking body count meant the amount of time someone has had sex in general rather than the amount of people someone has had sex with until he confirmed later in the video that the latter is what he is referring to how the fuck can someone have a high body count and have a long-term relationship the only way that would even begin to make sense is if it was an open relationship. Did this guy just implicitly admit to being in an open relationship? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. He spends the next 50 seconds or so soapboxing about how high body count shamers are crabs pulling you down to their puny low IQ level. And you gotta surround yourself with other sluts and fuckboys to uplift you or something. Then he somehow contradicts himself. Not in this shallow realm where you're having sex with as many people as possible, essentially turning sex into nothing more than masturbation with another human body present. He even explains why a high body count matters in a comment debunking a study explaining why high body counts matter. It's like me saying, well, a low credit score doesn't matter. It's all about if they've ever made any on-time payments. You may think that, but that's not what the dating market thinks. This guy is such a pseudo-intellectual. 
now soapboxing about how you should surround yourself with people that will encourage you to morally bond with someone in the eyes of God. It blows my mind how this guy calls himself religious, but thinks body count doesn't matter and gender is subjective. This is the level of intellect these people have when trying to debunk the black pill. And you wonder why I don't make response videos about this stuff. Consider this the only response video I have for debunk videos. But it's interesting to me how these incels will obsess over body count and the amount of people that you have sex with without realizing that those numbers in and of themselves mean absolutely nothing. They mean something under the purview of some highly shallow and highly judgmental people that you should not be talking to in the first place. And in no other context do they mean anything. They mean nothing because those are not people who you've connected with in a sincere way on a deep level. Those are people who you've had sex with for maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, and then it's over, it's gone. So he's saying that inkwells are only judging women with high body counts because they are just pumping and dumping them. But inkwells can't even get sex in the first place. Projecting the behavior of Chad onto inkwells is another common trait these weirdos like to do. If I could sleep with as many women as I wanted, why would I give a shit what their body count is? It's interesting to me because what I'm trying to point at here is hypocrisy. Like these are, I feel like one of the major problems with, with incel ideology is that it's a lot of inconsistencies that are kind of strung together without making any broader point aside from women bad, okay, seriously, trust me. They'll simultaneously say something like, polygamy is bad, okay, we agree there. But then they'll say, but not when men do it. You know, polygamy is bad because it's causing this, I don't know, social decay in our society, um, blah, blah, blah. But also when men do it, it's fine because they should have a high body count. They should hedonistically have as much sex as possible, showing zero restraint, uh, zero morals, zero principles whatsoever. I don't think the black pill, sorry, inkwell ideology, says men being polygamous is okay. I think it's just the red pill grifters like pearly things saying that shit. The red pill and the black pill, although red pill is full of copers and laughable gurus now, basically tells women and men, hey, if someone has slept with a bunch of people in the past, it's not a relationship worth pursuing. This applies to women because they're most susceptible to getting a high body count themselves if they keep chasing high body count men. Men can't rack up a high body count unless they're Chad but they can definitely become cucks trapped in dead bedrooms if they try to marry the same girls that wouldn't have even looked at them in their prime. And that's the main reason why body count matters to inkwells. How can a woman love a sub-8 male if they were used to screwing Chad their whole life? He starts soapboxing about how toxic the dating culture is and we should be trying to get married, blah blah blah. There is so much soapboxing in this video, jeez. So, I do agree with him on the idea that inkwells shouldn't be obsessed with body count. But not for the reasons he has. Look, I understand that you don't want to be told that your wife is still recovering from her sexual trauma like this poor fellow. But honestly, if you're over the age of 20 and you still demand a virgin girl, you're delusional, bro. Me, I stopped giving a shit about teen love and virginity the second I hit 21 years old. I know I'm never going to get that shit. The vast majority of women my age are either taken, had multiple boyfriends, or are complete sluts. It's a harsh pill to swallow, but it is what it is. And... I think it's because what they're engaging in because of their emotions or rather their lack of beliefs, their lack of consistency, what they're engaging in is the most blatant self-flagellation in the face of modern society. They are purveyors of modern society. They agree with these fundamental notions that are set forth by certain liberal feminists, by atheists, by a lot of these people who run the corporate kleptocracy. Regardless of what an inkwell believes in, because not all inkwells are blackpilled, 
The inkwell phenomenon is not the cause of modern society, it's the result of modern society. If that isn't blatantly obvious, I don't know what is. When these people inevitably have sex because so many of the notions they have about the world are wrong, um, and they actually can have sex, the moment that they do, they just become misogynist because they were never actually incels in the first place. Incel does not exist. I have gone on to say this so many times on this channel, it is not real. It is not real. And uh, it should be obvious why it's not real. If so many people who don't, who aren't rich, aren't wealthy, um, are short, fat, and ugly, can have 10 out of 10 girlfriends. I see it all the time when I go outside. I know you do too. Um, but you pretend like it isn't there. You pretend like it doesn't exist. And while covering your eyes and shutting your ears, you pay attention to only the quote-unquote evidence and information that ends up agreeing with the, the points that you're trying to make. Oh, we've actually gotten to the debunk part of the video. Wow, my opinion was really swayed when he said, he sees ugly dudes with 10 out of 10 girlfriends. Okay, let's break this down. You say the inkwell phenomenon doesn't exist, all of them eventually has sex. There are dudes with 10 out of 10 girlfriends, and if an inkwell does have sex, they just become misogynist. Where is your evidence of this? You are literally just talking out of your ass, bro. Of course, there will be outliers, but most of the time, those relationships ugly dudes have with girls out of their league are unbalanced and abusive. Then again, people like him always overrate women's looks and underrate men's looks. So what he thinks is an ugly guy with a 10 out of 10 girlfriend is probably just a looks-matched couple with the girl wearing makeup. You say we pick and choose studies, yet you have offered no evidence of your own other than anecdotes. This video was a waste of time, honestly. But yeah. This is your average inkwell in denial making a video being triggered about a topic he doesn't even understand. I'm gonna be even more busy, so I'm not sure when the next upload will be, but likely soon. Peace.